It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to it. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso Live on SABC3. Now, if you've been paying attention, all of last week we were asking you guys at home to lend a hand by packing, or rather at packing 50,000 meals for the 1 million plus 1 campaign with Rise Against Hunger. Mm -hmm. um, 50,000 on our way to 1 million plus sure. 1. And of course, we kicked it off at Table Bay Mall. Um, a pretty cool opportunity to engage with just anyone I could, yeah. really, and just drag them in there to be a volunteer. You yeah. were there. I was there. You we were, were there. packing. It was so much fun. Um, we got to see little kids getting involved, families getting involved, and really just having fun, but at the same time doing this for such an incredible cause. Yeah, no, completely. So the first 50,000 done and dusted, and with those efforts, 160 kids fed for an entire year. What an awesome, awesome day. Take a look. Am I allowed to say 50,160? Because there was yes. that extra. Yes, you are allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Our campaign to pack hashtag one million plus one meals in support of Rise Against Hunger officially kicks off today at Table Bay Mall. No mean feat, we have the target of packing 50,000 meals today. Meals that will go towards supporting creches and caregivers, looking after some of our most precious and unfortunately most vulnerable assets, our children. Children that would have gone without any meal at all were it not for Rise Against Hunger. So we obviously know Carla's face well from our build-up to this incredible event. Now that it's actually arrived, it's always a big sigh of relief for me, but the job is nowhere near finished, which is why I'm guessing Carla's rolled up her sleeves literally and has gotten involved. Now that the day has arrived, how are you feeling that your centre has finally embraced what's going on? Well, I tell you, when we arrive in the morning after the setup of last night and we see that everybody is here, the boxes are packed, we're excited to start, it's just a really great feeling. Our shoppers are involved, CBC is here with us this morning bright and early, so yes, we've already stuck in and we're doing it. These boxes are not going to pack themselves. This entire campaign would fall horribly short without some phenomenal volunteers. Every year that we have done this and we've ramped it up, one school, CBC, has been here at the beginning and with the very last box that we pack, and it's been the same this year. They've come out in their numbers. They are the best looking school, undoubtedly, on the planet. Now, they are the most generous people that I've ever encountered. Ryan, why did you volunteer to come out and help Rise Against Hunger today? Well, I think it's very important because we have so many Many, like starving kids in South Africa and it shouldn't be like that like no one should be starving because that is a necessity like you shouldn't die because of something that you can't get as a school we are a family so we feel that aspect of not being able to take care of your family because you always want to take care of each other so see, knowing that a family can't do that we as our school family want to help There's nothing better than seeing families coming together to support other families who don't have that helping hand. And I've got, a, I'm guessing, a mom and daughter team here. Yeah? Um, why have you guys come to help here? Why did you just suddenly step up to do this? We were on our way to the bank and then she asked us if we want to help and we're like, okay, let's quickly rush to the bank before they close and then we came back. <laughs> and also when they told us what is it for, so it's a little we can do. You don't have to always bring money, you can bring your hands and then that is contributing. People come, they plan their day, they're going to do shopping, they see what's happening, they see you and they want to get involved. In fact, there was a little kid here just now who came to say, can I help? And I said, of course you can. So yes, that is that spirit of camaraderie. You want to know what this campaign is all about? It's about young people stepping up for other young people, about kids stepping up to show us adults how you really give back the spirit of love and generosity, just like Saren over here. Saren, first of all, you amazing human being. How old are you? I'm eight. Just eight years old. What's it been like packing today? What job have you been doing? I've been putting on the stickers and it's been really fun. Why do you think it's so important to give back? Why are you here today? To save the young children from being um, really hungry. Most of 
these children can't even afford um, a, a decent education, so to speak. So they stay in, a, if there's a Goko at home, living on the corner, she's the caregiver for the whole community. And it's overcrowded, the kids are there, they're sitting in the lounge, there's about 30, 40 kids of them. And we step in and we help them and we provide a nutritionally balanced meal. And 99% of the time, it is the only meal that that child receives for the day. This has actually all been a little overwhelming. With the 50,000 meals packed today, we will effectively feed 160 children for an entire year. But it's just the first step towards our hashtag 1 million plus one meals. Plus one because we are always looking forward to the next child until every hungry belly is full. We can and we will eradicate extreme hunger in South Africa with Rise Against Hunger. Thank you so much, Table Bay Mall. Oh, oh. You, can, you can hear a much my voice was oh, the end of the day. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm so proud of everyone that, that stepped up on that day. I mean, so many people I was just guilting into coming to help us. <laughs> I was literally just I'm like, you are going to come here right now and just drag them on. But, Man, but, but we did it, and 50,000 is a lot. That's it's yeah. a lot, half yeah. of what we did for our entire campaign last year we were able to do, so I'm very excited. But also amazing. just seeing people who aren't being zapped into the space who are actually just asking how they can get involved is also inspiring as well. Uh, yeah. on, a, on a different level, guys. Exactly. On a different level. That's mm. so cool. And of course, with your generosity, um, they have the first 50,000 meals packed and ready to ship to the amazing caregiver, caregivers looking after some of our most vulnerable children. Now on to the next 40,000, right, G? <laughs> yeah. As uh, your partnership with Rise Against Hunger for the hashtag one million plus one meal campaign moves to Somerset Mall this Saturday, the 12th of October. So we just need a little bit more of your time and love to continue to provide at least one meal for starving young South African children that would have otherwise gone hungry and we are intent or rather incentivizing young people especially by giving schools um, with the most learners at our meal packing events the chance to come pack the last few meals live on Expresso. Mm. Hey that's amazing. Um, yeah we might even take some of you like we did with Lotus High to, to go yeah. and distribute the meals at some of the creches at the, the places that are looking after these children. The, the, the heartbreaking reality here is that these kids, that's the only meal they're going to get yeah. all day. Yeah. Their, their parents cannot afford to buy them one meal a day, so are handing them over to other caregivers to feed them, to look after them. And these creches have kind of 30, 40 kids yeah. every day with zero resources. Yeah. Um, they're looking after entire communities. So that we can do be this. Happening. We, can, we can make a massive difference. Yeah. Imagine one million meals plus, plus one. one baby. So mm. while you can just come to Somerset Mall on Saturday, you can also pre-register by clicking on the Somerset Mall volunteer tab on rahafrica.org. Hashtag one million plus one. It is possible with your help these children need us